people who were living in the country uh, often had uh, uh, salesmen come by uh, selling all sorts of stuff, uh, uh, kind of like door to door, fuller brush men types. But there are also uh, people that sold tobaccos. And there was a Garrett Snuff salesman that visited uh, the farm one day. And uh, where the uncles got the money, I don't know, but they bought some Garrett Snuff. And uh, they seemed to relish it. And they saw the uh, myself and my their youngest brother hanging around, which we were always doing. And uh, they decided to let us partake in the Garrett Snuff too. And so they sent uh, Glenn to the house to get a spoon uh, so they could uh, dip the snuff out and uh, uh, help themselves. And then they were going to give us some. Well, they took the handle end of the spoon and they dipped a little bit out, they pulled their lip down, and they put that snuff in, and we were observing the whole thing, uh, and they came to us. Well, the mean guys, instead of taking the handle in, which if you notice on a spoon is very small, they took the eating end of the spoon, and they filled it up, and they said, Open your lips. So we did, and they put that stuff in. Well, I hope you never try snuff because it's a bad, bad habit. Uh, and I can only tell you that for a little kid who had all that dry powder in his mouth, you take one breath, and that powder goes into your lungs and you feel like you're dying. Well, that's what happened to Glenn and myself, and it was a race for the well. They didn't have a water tap that you turned on uh, to get a quick drink of water. You had to lower a bucket into a well, and this well was probably 40 or 50 feet deep, and after the bucket tips over and finally gets a little bit of water in it, you're hoisting that rope up. And all the time you're gagging and coughing, and that's exactly what my uncle and I were doing. Until finally you get that bucket up in that water, and Glenn being the older kid, he got his dip first, I was the last one, and boy, I can tell you, it was miserable. Now, I was only about five years old when all this happened. And so that's a memory that uh, uh, sticks in your mind. Well, the only reason I mention this is because, uh, again, people uh, engage in activities that uh, probably wouldn't be doing today. Uh, in fact, I know they wouldn't be doing today.